Endocrine disruptors are chemicals that can cause infertility, cancer, and developmental disorders. They can be found in plastic bottles, toys, electronics, cosmetics, and pesticides. Barbara Demony is an internationally recognized expert on thyroid function and endocrine disruption. How do you show that a chemical is responsible for a disease when we're all exposed to, I mean, literally dozens of chemicals? Endocrine disruptors start affecting us at an early stage, even before we're born. So what can we do as parents to avoid our exposure? Right, well, the first thing I always suggest is ensure that the, the, the mother's got enough iodine. Uh, there are very clear studies showing that just a mild iodine deficiency during early pregnancy is going to have a significant impact on the child's brain. Organic food, if you can afford it, and anyway, try to prepare the most food in the house as possible. Take the time, enjoy it. If you're not using prepackaged food, then you're, you're going to expose yourself and your children to, to, to lower levels of, of plastics and phthalates and things like that. Try to reduce the amount of sun cream you use, wear shirts and, and hats. All these little things about your lifestyle that can improve your child's health and IQ later in life. The European Union is taking action on many different levels, from research to regulation. The European Union has just put out a call on screening of endocrine disrupting chemicals. Uh, so they want new tests. They've focused on five areas, uh, thyroid hormone, brain development, uh, female reproduction, etc. But identifying and testing for endocrine disruptors is not an easy task. We've got problems in the time it takes to get these tests validated. We've got to get people to think about these tests. We've got the, at the same time, we've got all this knowledge that's accumulating in terms of epigenetics, transgenerational effects uh, that we haven't been able to take into account. And at the same time, the number of chemicals on the market is increasing in inexorably. Here I've been in South Korea, India and Japan, and they're just waiting. They're saying, right, Europe's been able to do it. OK, let's do it here, too. It's a race against time, and we need more people, more people to, to set their minds to these problems urgently.